What's poppin? My name is Richie, and today I show you how to get multiple skins in your player reference device with just one player, so you don't need any friends or anything else. And also, yes, I know we had a poll and you guys voted for the custom props, but that video will come after that because obviously it takes a lot longer. Um, so, and I want this video to obviously be good. So with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so this is a super easy and little trick that you can do. Uh, I would say it's like a zero out of 10 in terms of uh, difficulty. It is super easy to do. Um, also credit goes out to the original founder of this one. Uh, I found this on Reddit first. Um, I thought like, a lot of people ask me about the tutorial, so I thought, why not? First things first, we obviously need our player reference device. We actually need more than one since we want to have multiple skins. And I'm also going to show you guys a few things that you cannot do with this uh, technique here. Um, it is not a glitch, it's super easy to use. Um, so we need two of them, but for the sake of making this uh, as fast as possible, we're going to just take one and then copy and paste everything. So you can basically do everything that you want in here. Just important that you have a channel set to register player when receiving from. Set that to channel one or whatever channel you want. Uh, and then make sure that uh, you obviously have the correct settings. If you want to have advanced settings, you click this little tab and then make sure that uh, you have all the correct settings for your settings. After that, we need some kind of device where we can actually register the player on. So I like to use the trigger device as most of you guys know, but you can basically use everything that sends a trigger. Um, so we're gonna use a trigger device here. Make sure that we set that to the same channel. So when triggered is channel one here and then if we are in game, as soon as we step on here, this uh, activates and the player spawns and we can quickly check if this works. So as you can see, if I jump on here, my player pops up and this is the exact skin that I'm wearing right now. So the next thing that you want to do is go here and copy and paste this thing over here. So we have our second uh, player reference device and then we only need to change the channels in here. So just change this, change this channel in here as well, obviously. To make it easier, if you already change the channel or something, you can click this little star icon and it will only show the, the option that you selected something in. Um, so we can just do that like this. Same for this device, it works also here. And now we have two player reference devices with a linked up to two different channels. Now comes the magic part, and that is only possible because this recently just got added, and that is the phone booth. Yes, it is a very nice device. It's a little bit buggy currently, um, but it still works super fine. So all we need to do is place it down and then as you guys might notice, you cannot change outfits if you're in creative. You have to start a game. Um, so that's the only downside to this one, actually. You have to be in game. So if we start the game, you can see here that if I step on this one, you see the Verge skin popping up on this one. So now we go into the uh, phone booth and we select a random skin that we want. So let's take this blue hat over here. And let's go out. And yeah, it's a little bit buggy, but it should work. You don't need to jump like twice or something. And as you can see, if we jump on this device here, it's still the Verge skin, which is obviously something that we want. And if I jump on this one, we have the blue hat or the blue team leader, I guess it's called. Um, so that is basically all you have to do. Um, you can see now they're locked in and loaded. Um, you can still do like stats on them. They will still count as you. You're the player that it is currently referencing, but with a different skin. Um, so if I had um, like kills on this one, you'd still be able to count the same kills. Um, but it obviously will be the wrong skin. So that is obviously something you have to take care of. And you can see here, if I jump on here, nothing will work. Uh, if I select a new skin, we can quickly do that as well. And um, it will not change the skins. You will need to have, um, uh, let's just pick whatever. Let's pick the, pick the soccer skin here. You can see it's not working. You cannot change the skins and they're locked and loaded. But that is it for the tutorial. It was it's a super simple thing. A lot of people asked me about this and I quickly wanted to show you guys how this works and how you can do this yourself. And uh, yeah. Remember, next video will be um, the full on how to make custom props, stuff like that over there. And um, yeah, I will see you guys back in the next one. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys. Bye.